Welcome everybody. It is another Tuesday. Let me just adjust this. Um, yeah, so lots of stuff to chat about today. Uh, first of all, we're going to be covering media kits, author media kits, and because uh, we're just going old school simple with Facebook, I, don't, I can't do a screen share, so I printed these uh, gorgeous media kits for you. So I'm just going to show you uh, these three media kits that we've created for our authors and just talk about some of the key elements that you should have in your media kit. Hey, Erwin, thanks for the thumbs up. It looks always looks so awesome when it flies across. Um, if you're watching the replay, still say hello. You can play along like it's live. And, uh, and of course, when it gets posted on YouTube, it counts as a Tuesday, Friday video that you can win a uh, book launcher swag for. And uh, one of the swag items, of course, is this hashtag no boring books mug, which you can be entered to win like all of these folks have been entered to win by commenting on the day a video is released over there at booklaunchers.tv. Um, and speaking of booklaunchers.tv, we hit 10,000 subscribers. Yay. So thank you so much for your shares, your likes, your comments, and of course your subscriptions because we have now crossed that threshold. So, um, we're going to have a party to celebrate. So mark your calendars. Instead of the regular live stream that would be happening in two weeks on Tuesday, we're going to change things up just a little bit and do a live stream on Thursday, May 30th. And I'm going to have uh, quite a few uh, key people from my team here in the office with me and we're going to do some Q&A and we have some extra special book launcher swag that we're going to be giving away. Uh, lots of book prizes and more. So do be on live. The prizes are going to be for people who are on live for the most part. So that'll be at 2.30 Pacific Standard Time, 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. Crazy late for the folks in Europe. Uh, sorry <laughs> about that, Kevin. But uh, that's just how we roll. Hey, Tim. Welcome. Welcome. Good to see you again. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to talk about media kits. But before we do that, I want to give a big shout out uh, to, let me just see over here. I got a stack of books, I'm picking it out. Um, so to Robert Workman, who has released uh, Hired Gun 2, this is his second book, a follow-up from a book he wrote a couple decades ago, I think. <laughs> and uh, a really, really cool book. Actually, Tim, you might like this. Um, so uh, Robert's perspective was as a top salesperson who uh, was often at risk and possibly even did get fired. I'm trying to remember the stories uh, that are in his book. And he's got a really, really in-depth, valuable perspective for anybody in sales. But it's not like a always be closing type of sales book. It's really, you know, it's really for the top like the people who are excellent at sales, he's talking to you guys. He's got some really good tips and ideas and things to watch out for um, for people who are at the top of their game. And it's fun. He's got a really fun, uh, quirky sense of humor and perspective. Hey, David, welcome. <laughs> you got here live and in time. So <laughs> it's great to have you here. Uh, okay, so that's Robert Workman's book. So a big shout out to him. Also coming out on May 16th, so I don't have a physical copy yet. Um, Tom Gabor has released a book, uh, or is releasing a book called Enough, and uh, his subtitle is Solving America's Gun Violence Crisis. And this is a really important book, and I am really uh, proud that we are helping him get it out there. Uh, he is one of the leading researchers on gun violence in North America. He does all kinds of, uh, you know, Witness, he does um, like court witness stuff and he, professor, like just really, really in-depth research. And he's also done a lot of stuff on the activist side. So he has both perspectives, um, a lot of perspectives, I should say, because there's multiple ways to approach gun violence and solutions to gun violence. Um, but yeah, with, with, uh, with all the mass shootings, I really, really hope a lot of people who can uh, activate change read his book and, and take a look at the research and what he's done. Hey, Dave, welcome. Hello. <laughs> so that's Tom Gabor. So congratulations to Tom. Um, so again, uh, for those of you who just joined in, mark your calendars, May 30th, 2.30 Pacific Standard Time. We're having a party. We're going to be having a huge celebration uh, for 10,000 subscribers on YouTube and we're gonna have all kinds of cool prizes and lots of fun and Q&A with my team. So you can talk to our creative director, our book marketing pro, um, our client care person who really can answer just about any question you have about anything nitty gritty publishing. Because <laughs> a lot of people ask me and I'm like, it's not me that does that stuff, it's it's Jacqueline. So, uh, so yeah, we'll have those three here so you can ask them all your hard questions and save your easy ones for me. 
<laughs> so it's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you can make it. All right. So media kits. I have three examples here for you. And uh, as an author, you don't necessarily need a media kit, but it's helpful. And why we create them for our authors is, well, part of what we do is pitch them to media. So podcast interviews, uh, you know, some, some traditional media, a lot of blogs, uh, book reviewers, uh, even some speaking engagements, wholesale opportunities. So a media kit is really, really useful for presenting the book. Um, if they have a great quote, uh, so this is Mark Lindholm's book. Um, we have uh, Casey O'Rourke's book is coming out later this month. I just like, I love the colors and, and the vibrancy of her, all of her stuff and her book cover. Um, so she has a, a quote over here from uh, Tina Payne, who is the co-author of the bestseller of The Whole Brain Child. So her book is about parenting um, and really calming the drama, taking control of your parenting journey. And so she has a great quote there from, from uh, a thought leader in her industry. So we put that on the front. Um, and then social media contact information. The other thing to note, and somebody pointed this out to me, um, you know, when they when they were hiring us uh, a couple weeks ago, they said they said I just want somebody else's name to be on my media kit because that looks more professional. If my media kit has my name on it, then it's like I'm not I'm not important. <laughs> was what she said her words. Um, but yes, we we act as their their representatives um, while they're clients. So then inside here. So the elements that are really important, well, obviously, we're talking about the book. Where it's available is down here. Uh, and then there's lots of information over here that is basically the metadata. Um, the metadata for the book. And this is just information that if somebody does do an article, they would need on your book. And then this is an extended version of your book description. It's, it's longer than the one that goes on the back of the book. But it really has to sell your book to the media. Um, we also inc include uh, as many testimonials and endorsements that we can find or that we have. Um, the bigger the name, the better, so the more credibility. Again, this is talking to the media. This is getting, um, getting them to pay attention, but it's also, in a lot of cases, what the media will use to write a piece. So, um, you know, if you have a press release to go along with this, they often will just take the quote right out of your press release, and then they'll take, a, you know, the standard information straight from your media kit. So you want to have everything very well curated, very well edited, and ready to go. So then this is an about the author, and it's an extended bio version, um, larger than what you probably would have inside of your book. Um, and then this is really, oops, <laughs> everything's a mirror image, so it's hard. So this over here are sample interview topics. So especially for podcasts, but also radio interviews, and to an extent, TV as well, you need to appeal to the media with what you're going to be talking about to their audience. And so that's where the sample interview topics come in. Um, so I'll just read you, well, I've showed you a lot of cases, so let me pick up, um, we'll go back to Mark's. Um, so we've got Mark's here. So I'll go to his sample interview topics. His book is A Doctor's Perspective on CBD, uh, Science, Success Stories, and Changed Lives. So here's some of the interview topics that uh, we came up with with Mark. <laughs> Sorry, neighbors are getting rowdy if you guys can hear that. <laughs> so A Doctor's Perspective, What CBD Oil Really Does for Your Body, Hemp, CBD, and Marijuana, What's the Difference? So these are all topics, and you can kind of see how they might even be the headline on the news coming up or on the radio. Next up, we have Mark Lindholm, um, Dr. Mark Lindholm, on is a drug-free approach to healthcare possible? You know, those kind of subjects. Um, so that's what those interview topics are. So as you're writing your book, or if you already have a book done, um, going through and kind of pulling out some questions that people could ask you or that could be uh, a story lead for your book or to start a conversation that, you know, it's really... You, the conversation is not about your book. You know this already. Uh, when you get media attention, it's the media actually doesn't care about your book at all. <laughs> all they care about is what kind of a story they can put in front of their readers, if the readers are going to be interested, engaged, and of course, um, maybe learn something or be shocked or <laughs> entertained. So that's really what you have to deliver to them. And then as a result of you delivering that to them, you can plug your book a few times usually. Um, so those are some of the sample interview topics. Um, then we always include a book ex excerpt at the back of this. So um, it's not ever enough to be a chapter, but it can be a section from the book. Um, sometimes it's chapter one, like Mark, Mark Lindholm's uh, book has chapter one. Casey's here. Um, 
we actually, with hers, we didn't do an excerpt. We did uh, reviews. Because she did a great job of getting a whole bunch of advanced reviews and advanced um, reader copies out there. And some excellent, excellent uh, reviews. So we included that instead of a book excerpt on uh, Robert Workman. So there's another media kit that we did. We did include um, a book excerpt, I think. Oh no, we did early reviews for this too. So I guess we change it up um, depending on what we have and what we think will be most relevant. And we always make this a four page, well it's actually two pages double sided, but a four pager. Um, and the key to this, by the way, because a lot of your media kits are going to get mailed out, emailed out I should say, uh, is to make sure the PDF is uh, small. So getting, even though it's very image rich and colorful, is getting it shrunk down so that it is emailable and possible to be emailed. So if you guys have questions about those media kits, let me know. But I really just wanted you to know the elements, give you a sense of what we do, and uh, kind of give you an overview of it. And then in the future, we can expand upon the elements a little bit more. I've already talked extensively about book descriptions. You can find that video over on booklaunchers.tv. Uh, we've got a prize we have to draw for. <laughs> hey, Winona, welcome. Good to have you here. Um, just checking my notes. Oh, before I do the prize, I also want to mention uh, we're hiring. <laughs> I have, I think, five job postings out there right now. And uh, especially, I'm looking for copywriter uh, to write book descriptions, website copy, uh, lots of different things, but you know, really book descriptions, media kit copy, uh, bios, those kind of things. We're looking for a great copywriter. Uh, we also we have a ton of applications, but you know, I'm still looking for the right person for an executive assistant in charge of largely operations, but they would be reporting to me. So if you want to learn more, or you know somebody who might be a great fit. Oh. And bookstore distribution specialist. Um, if you know anybody with bookstore uh, experience or book sales to bookstores and libraries and, and colleges and universities, that kind of experience, we're, we're hiring them too. So you can check out all the jobs at booklaunchers.com forward slash jobs. And I would be so grateful for your help in finding uh, more fantastic people to bring on to the Book Launchers team to take great care of our clients. So, so thank you for that. Okay, so um, drum roll. Da -da 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 -da. Right? <laughs> oh, um, okay, David, I'm just going to. Uh, Herrera, hello, welcome. Uh, good point that the media cares about interesting news story and not your book. That is a really nice and unique shirt. Thank you. <laughs> um, I study digital marketing and I'm about to take some of those classes that have viral in the name. Seems cheesy, yet useful. Do you know anybody that handcrafts book covers? I will look at other examples of media kits. Um, and what do you, I'm just curious what you mean about handcrafts, book covers, because um, when you say handcraft, I kind of imagine somebody painting it versus, uh, you know, all of our designers will design it on a computer using uh, usually kind of Photoshop in design, in design kind of uh, software. So I don't know if you mean like designs it. In some cases, though, we do actually have clients who will have a painting that they've uh, purchased or made or a family member has, has made, and then we design the cover from that. Um, <laughs> and Winona says Tim has a great last name. <laughs> the Collinses are, are <laughs> the Collinses are joining in here. <laughs> that is great. Um, Fiverr, yes, painting. Um, so yes, painting. Yeah, I don't. I don't actually know anybody who. Uh, all of our clients that have paintings have had somebody they know or they've purchased the painting from somebody. So I don't. I'm trying to think if I know anybody. Um, so if, what you might want to do is uh, just check back in a few days on YouTube because you know Kevin McGuire, um, Keith Wheeler, Dale Roberts. There's a handful of people that might be watching this uh, after after the fact, and they quite likely between all of them, they probably do know somebody that will paint covers. So check back there, and uh, if anybody reaches out to me that, that does that, I can let you know as well. Okay, all right, so back to, <laughs> back to the draw. All right, so just so you guys don't see, this is for um, folks who comment if the day a video is released on YouTube. And oops, some, I guess this is the winner because it just flew out. Let's see, let's see who flew out. <laughs> All right, Benny Bullock, congratulations, Benny, and thank you so much. You are definitely one of my YouTube besties. Uh, comment, I think, on almost every single video that comes out, so I know you'll be watching the replay and will know to email me at team at uh, and let me know whether you want the mug. 
okay, a beautiful mug. Oh, sorry, bring it in. Or the, oh, so soft, book launcher's journal. <laughs> All right, folks, that's it for today. Unless you guys have more questions about the media kit, uh, I really just wanted to give you an overview, and uh, and then I'll be diving into it a little bit more over the next couple months on uh, booklaunchers.tv. But again, we're hiring booklaunchers.com forward slash jobs, and on May 30th, that will be the next live stream, and we'll be going live on YouTube. We won't be live on Facebook that week. I'm changing things up just to celebrate, and thank you all for 10,000 subscribers at YouTube. And again, try to be there live 2.30 Pacific, 2 Pacific Standard Time, because we're going to have a ton a ton of fantastic prizes, books, swag, and lots of Q&A time with some, some super smart people on my team. So I can't wait to see you guys there. So thank you so much. And uh, thanks for tuning in today. All right, thanks guys. Bye. Bye to all the Collinses. <laughs>